So we have a very interesting question, uh, question with us now. There is this tank with water at 0 degree Celsius filled to the top. The height of the tank is h. The atmospheric temperature is minus theta. Theta is less than 0, therefore it is negative. The temperature is negative. The thermal conductivity of ice is given and the latent heat of fusion is given. We neglect the expansion of water. We need to find out the time in which whole water converts to ice now for solving this we first realize that since this is at 0 degree celsius and the atmosphere is at minus theta therefore there will be a heat current flowing from here to here due to which there will be a loss of heat from this system due to which some amount of water will be getting converted into ice now the first contact comes over here therefore first of all this layer of water gets converted into ice and slowly slowly the layer of ice starts growing downwards now since as the layer of ice grows there will be temperature difference across the two layers of across the two ends of ice and there will be a thermal conductivity of ice involved therefore we have to integrate to get the solution for this question let us assume that ice has already been developed till a height of till a depth of x and let us see the formation of another layer of ice of thickness dx at this distance x now we know that the water over here is at 0 degree celsius here we have full ice till the top and the temperature of the atmosphere here is minus theta degree Celsius. Now let us find out the heat current first. Heat current is equal to K into area of cross section into dt that is the change in temperature across the two ends that is theta upon the length that comes in the way that is equal to x. Now to find out the small amount of heat transferred due to this heat current in small time dt let us take that this has happened after time t. So, in another time interval dt, the amount of heat transferred will be equal to k theta into dt upon dx. This is theta, uh, let me write this as t to avoid confusion minus t degree Celsius. Therefore, this becomes k t into dt by dx. This is the small change in time and this is the small amount of heat that is transferred due to this small amount of heat small amount of mass of water will be converted into ice using the latent heat of fusion therefore this can be written to be equal to delta q upon l this is equal to ka into t dt upon l into x now this small amount of mass of water which got converted can be written as rho of water into the area of cross section into dx because this was the water over here which has got converted into ice now. Now we equate rho a dx is equal to k a into t dt upon l into x the a gets cancelled and we get rho l into x dx is equal to k t into dt let us integrate this from x goes from 0 to h and t goes from 0 to t therefore on solving this we get rho l into h square by 2 is equal to k into t into small t therefore small t comes out to be equal to rho l into h square upon 2k the value of t can be written to be equal to theta. So our final answer for the time taken for the whole mass of water to get converted into ice was equal to rho l into h square upon 2k into theta. So in this question the first thing you needed to realize is that you have to integrate to get the solution because at any time t there will be an x height of ice which is already formed according to which you will have to write the equation for heat current and the uh, mass of water that is getting converted into ice. So, by doing this small, simple integration, we get the 
फाइनल आंसर टू बी इक्वल टू रो एल इंटू एच स्क्वायर पॉन टू के इंटू थीटा 